to the easy and as Mark feels comfortable, we're going to speed it up. You ready, Mark? Take a deep breath. All right, here we go. We're going to be turning left. So step one is to reposition foot. Okay, reposition body. Okay, now push on the outside grip. All right, now notice his body's to the inside of center, the bike's to the outside of center, forming that V shape. Can everybody see that V shape? Okay, good. Now you're going to look ahead and locate your turn point. Now look through the turn over here. Okay, we're going to relax the outside grip, push on the inside grip. Good. Roll on the throttle, push on the outside grip, back to neutral. Excellent. Pull me, little guy. Okay, now we're going to try a little bit faster. Everybody doing all right? Mark, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Reposition foot, reposition body, push outside grip, locate turn point, look through turn. Relax outside grip, push inside grip, relax, there you go. Roll on throttle, push outside grip, back to neutral. Okay, now remember, when the bike comes falling down, it's going to feel like it's going to fall over. But I promise you, we're not going to drop it. So just stay nice and relaxed as we do all the work to bring it down and bring it back up again. Okay, guys, a little bit faster. Everybody ready? Here we go. Reposition foot, reposition body, push outside grip, locate turn point, look through turn, relax outside grip, push inside grip, good. Roll on throttle, push outside grip, back to neutral. Now that was pretty good, you got a few claps. But don't get cocky, because we're going all the way to real time now. All right, guys, this is going to, I know you thought that was fast. This is going to happen really, really quick. You ready, Mark? Ready. All right, here we go. Reposition foot, reposition body, push outside grip, locate turn point, three turn, relax outside grip, push inside grip, roll, throttle, push outside grip, back to neutral. Come on, a round of applause for that. They're going crazy, folks. Thank you very much. All right, now obviously the real value of doing this is doing it on your own motorcycle because it looks very different when you're doing it on a cruiser or a touring bike versus a standard or a sport bike.